Since the mid-1970s, there have been various conspiracy theories relating to NASA, none of which have ever been proved. But in recent years, a lot of the new conspiracy theories are coming from people promoting the idea that the Earth is flat. Now, if you've ever dealt with flat earthers, they tend to be very polite, articulate, and they're bloody hard work. But it makes sense they're trying to discredit NASA, because if they are trying to convince people, including themselves, I suspect, that the Earth is flat, it's rather awkward when these bastards keep sending back photos from their satellites and space station, proving that it isn't. But there's a new conspiracy theory, it's only been out a couple of days, from a prominent flat earther, and I'll post a link to the video in the description, who is claiming that all of the space shuttle missions were faked, and that the shuttles themselves were actually balloons. Now, I'm not old enough to remember the Apollo missions, although I believe that every one of the moon landings happened exactly the way that NASA said. But I am old enough to remember watching several live shuttle launches. And even as this chap claims, if NASA had used some trickery to make it look like the shuttle was taking off when it wasn't, then that wouldn't explain what everyone who went to watch those launches saw, because thousands of people used to go to shuttle launches, and they weren't all NASA employees. I know one of them wasn't, because he's my uncle. He doesn't work for NASA, he's a bricklayer. And I know the shuttle's real, because I've seen one of them. I've been to Kennedy Space Center, Atlantis is there, on display. I even touched it, despite all the signs telling me not to. So here's the thing that I don't get with conspiracy nuts. If NASA were faking the shuttle launches, why, at the end of their service life, would they not decommission them and strip them for parts to cover it up, rather than hanging them from the fucking ceiling so that thousands of people could go and look at them? Now, there's a couple of things in this video which the guy seems really proud of. Because all of his arguments can be picked apart very quickly, even by someone like me. I'm not a scientist, I have a basic understanding of physics. First off, he said, you can tell it's not a real launch because the shuttle's taking off very slowly. Now this dickhead doesn't understand acceleration. The shuttle would not go from naught to 17 and a half thousand miles an hour instantly. When it lifts off, it, was, it wasn't actually slow. By the time it cleared the tower, it was doing 120 miles an hour. But the problem is, once it was really moving, it was in the sky. So there's no point of reference. You can't see how fast it's going. It wasn't like they'd fly a 747 past it so you could gauge the speed. I imagine there was very little flight around Florida when there was a shuttle launch. Being hit by a 2,000 ton machine careering towards the heavens with the force of an atomic bomb would cause health and safety issues. But the thing this guy is really proud of, you can tell he thinks he's spotted something no one's seen before. And why he says that the shuttle is a balloon is because it, before every shuttle launch, the shuttle would appear to rise up and then drop down again as if it was floating. Now, if you're still watching this video, well done, because it's a fucking boring one. But I will give a layman's explanation so that even if you are the most mind-numbingly committed flat earther, you can understand what actually went on. Six seconds before launch, three fucking great rocket engines would ignite. The engines would gimbal round into their correct positions, the shuttle would rock back and forth and then settle, ready to take off. And it's at that point this strange little floating action would happen. And what that is, is the engines trying to push the shuttle off the launch pad but the shuttle was bolted down with massive titanium bolts. So it's th the bolts just giving way and recompressing. In the same way, if you've towed a fucking car with a rope, you'll know that when you pull away, it then tries to pull the car back as the rope tries to contract. There wasn't enough power at that moment for the shuttle to take off on its engines. But then, a couple of seconds later, when the countdown ended, the three fucking great engines were then assisted by two fucking great solid rocket boosters and at that moment the shuttle had 37 million horsepower and no bolt on earth was going to hold that back. So this guy who's made his video has probably taken days to do it with his clever editing and he's been, de been debunked by me in less than five minutes sitting on Asda car park. I can't wait until 2024 when NASA go back to the moon and finally all the conspiracy theorists will have to shut the fuck up.